So, this review is going to be about Western Digital. We've got a 3 terabyte, a 2 terabyte, which is for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 for obviously storage, and then we've got a normal 1 terabyte. These are all the Western Digital Ultra sort of Western Digital new range of drives. Now, obviously, they're passport drives, you can get them in blue, black, red, and white. We've got black, blue, and white. The black one being 3 terabytes, blue one being 2 terabytes, and the white one being 1 terabyte. Now, I've already done a review on the Western Digital Drive uh, quite a while ago, and I didn't like that video. So, I basically came back to obviously address it and make a better video of the Western Digital Drives. Now, people out there obviously get really upset about drives that don't show up on their actual computer. Well, I'm going to tell you how to fix that, and I'm going to be your guide to helping you get the most out of Western Digital Drives. Stick around if you want to find out more. So first off, let's address the problem. Something that should be so simple that you put a drive in by USB, it should automatically appear in the My Computer screen in the, the control panel. And if it doesn't, then obviously the drive must be broken. But hang on, it works in another computer, but it doesn't work in my computer. Why is it not recognizing that I have a USB storage drive plugged in and it's not showing up on the control panel. Well, this is how you sort it out. Before we even go into the review of everything about Western Digital, this is how you do it. So, if you're running it on Windows computer, you go into Windows um, uh, Device Manager and you basically delete or uninstall the actual driver for USB 3 because that's the problem why your USB 3 is not picking up your passport drive. It may pick up and still work with other uh, products that you've got, say like your mobile phone and tablet um, and your webcam, it will still work. But once you deleted that, go in there and update it, make sure you've got internet obviously, and update them drivers, and once you've done that, or just scan for new changes in your computer uh, control manual, it will actually start to work. So you restart your computer, and basically plug in your USB Passport Ultra Western Digital Drive that you had the problems with until you spoke to me and listened to this video, and it should work. If you've got any problems with obviously trying to uh, listen or understand what I'm trying to say, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you. As I love helping everyone, it's just about the community, helping people get on. And I'll tell you what, when I had that problem that you people had out there, I it took me about maybe 15 to 25 minutes trying to work it out. Then I worked it out and it was such a simple fix and it, the drive didn't turn out to be faulty. But anyway, let's get on with the review. We've got a black drive which is 3 terabytes, a blue drive which is 2 terabytes, and a white drive which is 1 terabyte. The blue drive is for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and that is actually a storage device that's external, so you can obviously offload your games. And let's talk about the speeds like really quickly, specifications. The reason why I spoke to Western Digital is in fact that I wanted to find out if all the speeds run exactly the same for a 3 terabyte, 2 terabyte, and 1 terabyte, or is anything different from the Xbox One to the PlayStation 4, obviously with the speeds and stuff. So we tested the 3 terabyte and it was running at 83 megabytes per second. That is okay, I suppose, but then we ran the two terabyte version for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and that was running around 110 to 113 megabytes per second, something like that. And then the one terabyte, that was actually running a lot faster than all of them. And I was thinking, how can a three terabyte and a two terabyte be slower than a one terabyte? But if you need more storage, you need it to be faster because there's more storage that needs to be executed. So the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 um, Western Digital Drive was slightly better for money, well, better value for money rather than the terabyte one and then better value for the three terabyte one. So in my case, I think that you should buy the two terabyte over the one terabyte and over the three terabyte. But obviously if you need more storage and you've got more time on your hands, then you go for the three terabyte. 
The two terabyte one is more better value for money and it was slightly quicker. It was in the middle of uh, for speed, reads and writes. Whereas the one terabyte was really fast, but it was a really smaller drive. So you either have three terabyte, two terabyte, and a one terabyte, or you just have the middle one. Or you have one terabyte because you want one terabyte because you offload pictures and you're going to kind of delete them down the line or a bit of video you could delete down the line or you have the three terabyte and you can delete and store at the same time or you have the two terabyte for the gaming so basically i think you should definitely get a two terabyte forget the one terabyte forget the three terabyte get the two terabyte even though it says for xbox one and playstation 4 it's already works on a pc and it's already um well the versions that we got work for Windows, so it's formatted in NFTS, and then if you want it for the Mac, you can get a Mac version, which is already a white sort of casing. Oh yeah, all like, better obviously explain what the actual materials are like on the, on the drives. Now, actually saying that, I went into a shop the other day, and I noticed that you can buy little covers, a special uh, insulated covers, so you don't scratch your drives or break it, or any shocks or anything like because obviously it's a mechanical drive it runs at 54 rpm speed in actual western digital drives which is pretty good how fast you can get the actual read and writes out of it now i don't know how western digital do that but they're obviously a hard drive company and that's the whole point of it i like to see them to make um obviously new sort of um uh, hard drives. I like them to make MV um, solid state hard drives and actual SSD hard drives. And yeah, I really want to see that in the future. But mechanical hard drives, eh, less fail rate, but probably you out there are going to probably complain and say, yes, there is quite a lot of fail rate. I've had this problem, but I've already told you. Comment down in the uh, comment box down below and I'll help you try and fix your little issue that you've got with your hard drive. It's not showing up, no problems there. But anyway, you can get them in fabulous colors like black, white, blue, and red, and which is pretty cool. And these are the ultra ones, which is quite new. Then obviously, it's slightly a little bit slower from the previous edition that they had before, but it's only a few mega, megabytes per second slower, which is not too bad. The cable's really nice and durable, and it just looks quite stylish and stuff, and it's quite cool. But, I don't know, there's not really a but, it's just a storage drive and as I said, I think you should opt for the middle one, which being the two terabytes, better value for money and better storage solution and over the one terabyte, which is obviously faster than the three terabyte, which is slower. But you can see where I'm coming from with this is a little bit more better. But um, nothing else to conclude about this video. I hope you liked the video because if you like it, don't forget to like it. And if you didn't like it, dislike it. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Hopefully you didn't dislike because if you dislike it, it's going to make me very upset and then it's going to make me have to work harder for making these videos better. But I already like making videos naturally better. So anyway, subscribe if you ain't subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.